The lack of significant resistance to Ukrainian troops in the Kursk region may indicate that Russian elites are signalling to Putin that the war is over. This opinion was expressed in a commentary to the BBC by Mykhailo Bosyakil, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council's Eurasia Centre. According to him, the slow reaction to the Ukrainian invasion may indicate hints of disobedience. Ukrainian troops have broken through where there should have been highly effective barriers. You don't see much resistance from the population and law enforcement. There were no reports of shots fired from any police station. I think that such a slow reaction from the security forces, if this is true, may indicate that the generals and the FSB are telling Putin, enough, added Bosiakil. Russian generals are also worried about the lack of soldiers. Ivan Taimochko, the head of the Council of Reservists of the Ground Forces of Ukraine, says that Russia may need up to 100,000 personnel to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region. To stop the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, Russia would need to deploy tens of thousands of troops. To build a quality defense and halt our forces, they need between 50,000 and 100,000 personnel, specifically from line brigades and units, not the mixed forces they had there said Taimochko. He noted that to repel the Ukrainian advance, Russia needs to deploy line brigades and units in the Kursk region, infantry and paratroopers. However, the Russian army must first establish logistics to set up weapon depots and establish food, fuel and ammunition supplies. I'm not even talking about a simultaneous Russian offensive to push our troops back. It's complex and will take a lot of time, but this will also depend on the local population and how ready they are to resist. Currently, we see that they are not at all inclined to resist the Ukrainian armed forces. So, Putin will have to rely solely on the military, which will force him to change his war strategy, he said. According to Taimochko, Russia needs a different type of warfare in the Kursk region, mobile warfare. This requires a lot of equipment and even the units currently facing the Ukrainian armed forces are only 30 to 40 percent equipped. The rest is on the front line in Ukraine, he noted. A fire broke out in the forest in the Karatip area of Yamanlar Mountain in the Karsiyaka district of Izmir for an unknown reason. Noticing the smoke, people in the area reported the situation to the 112 Emergency Call Center. Fifteen water trucks, five water supply vehicles, two dozers and three ground crews belonging to the Izmir Forestry Regional Directorate were dispatched to the region upon the notification. While extinguishing efforts were difficult due to winds reaching speeds of up to 60 km per hour, two planes, one helicopter, four water trucks and one water supply vehicle were sent to the region as reinforcements. Extinguishing efforts continue from the air and land. Smoke covered many areas of Izmir city. It is noted that the fight against the flames continues in four cities of Turkey. Forest fires in Izmir, Bolu and Manisa are being fought from the air and land. The fire in the Esiabat district of Kanakail has been brought under control. In the fire that broke out in the Goynuk district of Bolu, more than 100 hectares of land has been damaged so far. The fire that started in the Gourds district of Manisa is entering its third day and has been partially brought under control. But as noticed, the fire that broke out in the Karsiyaka district of Izmir grew due to the effect of strong winds. While numerous teams and vehicles were fighting the fire, an animal shelter was evacuated. Izmir Governor Suleiman Elban stated that the fire was continuing in four to five regions and that a village was evacuated. In a statement made by Karsiyaka municipality, it was reported that the fire spread to the Barakli and Sigli districts. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Ibrahim Umakli announced that the General Directorate of Meteorology warned that low humidity, strong winds, and high temperatures would increase the risk of forest fires for three days. Umakli added that the Esiabat fire broke out as a result of an electric pole on the side of the road exploding. Gel böyle ya.
Gel birader. 